you'll be fine. Yeah, I agree. Yeah. I agree, and it, and it just shows. I feel, I feel like this even trade in itself, just like how people go to study degrees and masters. I yeah. think that in itself, anyone which tells you you can learn it over the weekend or whatever, that's no. nonsense. It's, it's, no. it, it takes time. And one thing, just from me, just sort of dibbling dabbling in it at the moment, mm. I've noticed that you learn more from your losses. You learn so much mm. from the, the losses you take, and you learn how to improve yourself. Okay, oh, I done that mistake. Oh, I done that mistake. The more sort of mistakes you make in the earlier stages, after but, that's all done, will benefit you. But bro, all right, let me let me show you something quickly, yeah. Yeah. Right now, this is where trading gets even a bit more difficult because generally, what traders and what we do as human beings, yeah, we've got we've got the right action, we've got the wrong action, we've got the right result I mean then we've got the wrong result now what traders will tend to do and what we say even traders just what we do as human beings mm -hmm. is we justify the action by the result so what I mean by that is as long as we get the right result sorry it's the wrong one <laughs> the right result yeah mm -hmm. justifies our actions correct Yes, actually, yeah. Yeah, right. And if we and if we get, you know, if we do the wrong action, yeah, should, you know, or the wrong result, it means that we did the wrong thing. But that's not true in life in general. But that's how black and white people tend to look at things. Yes. So, so we know that a good trade can lose and a bad trade can win. Now, uh, this yes. is how. You, you understand where I'm going with this now? Yeah, I, I yeah. see you go. Yeah, yeah, I understand. You're trying to change my. Yeah, yeah, I understand. Yeah, what? Well, yeah, yeah, I didn't look at it from that perspective. Yeah, you're right. Yeah, right. So you could yeah. do the right action. Yeah. yeah? yeah. Everything you've done was correct, yeah. but you get the wrong result. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Now, what traders would do is that they would do the right action a couple of times. As we know, we can get three losing trades. Is yeah. is is coming like night follows day. Yeah. It's yeah. Coming. yeah, yeah. But we might do get do the right action three times, get the wrong result, then all of a sudden we start to do what? We start to add things, come outside of the process. This is our process box. Yeah. We then start to say, ah, oh, this ain't working. Maybe if I add a moving average. <laughs> yeah. Maybe I saw on some guy we was adding uh, Bollinger bands. Yeah. Maybe if I do a different entry technique. Mm -hmm. You understand? And then all you're doing, all you're doing is you start to come outside of the process, which is then the wrong action. But then what happens is, let's say, for example, you get the right result. Then that justifies you breaking all the rules. The rules, yeah, 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 yeah. And this is why traders will forever go round in a loop. In a circle, yeah. in a circle, yeah. in a circle, in a circle. You know what I'm saying? It's just yeah. literally round and round. Because yeah. although we do learn from our losses, yeah, what we need to do, what, what really is the focus, is not necessarily the loss. Yeah? It's not the loss. It's did I follow the process? Mm -hmm. Not the outcome. Did I stay within the process? Yeah, brilliant. It was a losing trade cool, no worries, move on to the next one. Was it a losing trade? Cool, no worries. What you should be learning from is really this process. process Get up yeah. of the process. Don't worry about your wins and losses. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You know, and it's a mantra, I guess, that is taught. You know, it's, it's a, what would they call it? It's like a, a, a thing that, you know, is, 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 is re repeated over and over and over again. And it sounds good on the surface. Yeah, it sounds good. And, and to, a gen, to, to, to a certain point, there is truism in it because we do learn from our, our pleasure and our pain. We do learn from our wins and our losses. Mm -hmm. But when you actually proper go into it deeply, yeah, that isn't actually where your focus is. Mm -hmm. Focus is, should be only on the process. That should be it. It should be nothing else. The outcome is the outcome. Did I follow the process? Yep, tick. Did I follow the process? Yep, tick. And that's it. Yeah, that way it takes away the emotions. And, and there you stuff. go. Yeah, there yeah, you yeah. go. It doesn't matter. 
it yeah, doesn't yeah, matter yeah. about your losses because what happens is you'll, you'll, you'll end up sitting there and I guess maybe you have all traders who are watching this, you know, who will watch this. Oh, by the way, you don't mind if I put this out, just some of this stuff out on YouTube, by the way. Oh, yeah. Great session. It's a great yeah, session. Yeah, go for it. Go yeah, for it. Thanks, bro. Um, so, so a lot of traders will be watching this and they're, 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 they'd say, um, they'd say, uh, uh, yeah, I lost this trade. And they sit there and analyze the loss analyze the loss and and it takes away from the fact that they if you follow the process before you took the trade you took the boxes you took the boxes you took the boxes right entry everything yeah what else is there to analyze there's nothing else to analyze yeah that's exactly what i'm saying there's nothing else because you'll sit there and try to analyze why you lost when it's random yeah. Yeah, it goes back to what you were saying before about this probability some trades they're going to be losing trades that you know yeah. Even if you follow the process, it's just going to happen. Yeah. You know? Good trades lose, bad trades win. You can take a random trade. I could take a trade right now and just press buy. No analysis, no nothing. Yeah. Just literally press buy or sell. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Place a stop loss, place a, um, a, a risk reward, and I could win that trade. Yeah. 100%. Or I could lose it. You know what I'm saying? It was, a, it was a terrible trade, but it could still win. Yeah. So why get so focused on the outcome? And I get it because, again, as human beings, as, as, as we grow up in life, we're taught, you know, logically to, to, yeah. to look at the world in this way. Yes. You justify yes. your actions. You justify your actions by the result. Like, for example, just getting it even a bit deeper on this. The reason why people have problems lying um, in the future when it going to, like, let's say, for example, children, yeah? Mm -hmm. So children, if you've got any children, you might say to your son or your daughter, did you take the cookie out of the cookie jar? Yeah? Now, the right action to do is tell the truth. But, yes. they, know that, but they know that they're going to get the wrong result, which is a Yes. Lead. No, they want to say they're going to get the yes. <laughs> yeah, yeah. <laughs> right. yes, exactly, yeah. Right. So they're going to, yeah, yeah. Right, so what do you think they're going to do? They're going to, they're going to, do that. they're going to, they're going to, they're going to tell you they know that the wrong action or the wrong result is coming. Yeah. Yes. If they if they do the right action. Yeah. Yes. So what they do is they tell you a lie, right? Yes. And the lie, yeah. And you, then you say, "All right, cool, no worries. You didn't take it out. It was probably you know mum or dad or whatever it is." Yeah. Yes. Yeah. Cool. They then say, "Oh, phew, I got the right result out of that, but yes. they did the wrong action." They did the wrong action. Yes. Right. And then what happens is is that. Every time they lie, it reinforces that they're doing the right thing. Yes, and it becomes a habit. And it be there you go. It becomes a habit. It becomes a habit. Because they're justifying their lies by the outcome. It was yeah. always the right thing to tell the truth, but mm -hmm. it's, not, it's not intuitive to do the right thing and get the wrong result. Yes. It's not intuitive as, you know, as people. And it's the same thing in trading. It's the exact same thing in trading. Yeah, mm. you do the right action, and we know what the right action is because we have a we have a trade plan. We yes. get the wrong result, then all of a sudden, what do we want to do? We want to start changing things and tinkering with things and yes. all types of madness. And then once you start doing that, that's it. And if you do that, and then you come out of the process, that's it. That's it. Yeah. So if what I'm saying resonates with you, why not check out trading180.com? There is a selection process to trade my supply and demand zone forex strategy. I'm only looking to work with uh, individuals with the right mindset, you know, who are hard working as well. So um, check that out and access really for less than one pound a day. This Some of the strategies in here are not for beginners. So if you don't know what supply and demand is, please check out all of my supply and demand videos. I have hundreds of videos on YouTube, so you can check that out first. Um, guys, take care and until the next video, have a good one.